Yo, before I even get started, I want to give a shout out to every YouTuber out there. Every YouTuber who speaks in front of the camera, man. This is not easy. <laughs> this would be easy. I've done this hella times and they're, they all suck. Uh, so, um, yeah, let's try a new one. Alright, what's up netizens? This is Derex, aka the Frisco Roamer. Today's topic, should you visit Taiwan? Let's discuss. But before that, while well, you press that like and subscribe button. All right, Taiwan, not to be confused with Thailand, has been getting a lot of airplay recently from how it responded to COVID to the China-Taiwan showdown. Taiwan is a hot topic, but should you visit? Let's discuss. So a little about me. I lived in Taiwan for four years. I stayed in a city known as Taichung. It's the second largest city in the country. It's on the West Coast and it's centralized. Now, when COVID hit, the government responded immediately and we didn't have to suffer the lockdowns the rest of the world had. We had some issues, but for the most part, we were free to go about and do what we wanted while on the island. However, Taiwan closed its borders to tourism. So as of October 13th, I believe, Taiwan has recently opened up its borders, which means you can visit. Now this video goes really well with my website. My website is friscoroamer415.com and within you'll find dozens and dozens of locations, many of them free, many off the beaten path. Um, if you have gluten issues, I got you because I'm gluten free too. So there'll be a lot of information on gluten free foods. Also, in my travel blog section, I got lots of tips and general information about visiting Taiwan. I have my favorite drives, my favorite hikes. If you're into drones, I got some information on that. I also have information on scuba diving. A lot of information on the website. So if you're serious about visiting, you should definitely check out the website. Before we get started, where is Taiwan? Taiwan is a country in East Asia at the junction of the East and South China Seas in the Northwestern Pacific Ocean, with China to the Northwest, Japan to the Northeast, and the Philippines to the South. All right, let's begin. 10 reasons why you should visit Taiwan. And if you like some of these or all of them, then you should definitely make time to come and see this awesome little island country. All right, reason number one, safety. Taiwan is safe. No, Taiwan is super duper safe. I've talked to men, I've talked to women, I've talked to people in the LGBTQ plus community and everyone I've talked to has said nothing but Taiwan is a safe place. I think Taiwan is a great place for solo women travelers. I don't think they would have any problems traveling Taiwan alone. Let's talk about some personal experiences. I've left my keys in my keyhole from my outside door to my house overnight several times. No one ever came into my house. There was a period where my car window would not roll up and I traveled to multiple cities, parked in multiple places and had camera gear and other stuff in my car. No one ever broke in or took anything. I've also talked to a criminal police officer. I was staying at a hotel and the owner of the hotel's husband was a police officer. And I was like, I got to pick this guy's brain for a couple of hours. I need some information. I talked to this dude for two hours. Now I use Google Translate. So the, obviously the conversation took a lot longer, but he confirmed that Taiwan is indeed a very safe place to be. I've never been hustled in Taiwan. I've never been strong armed in Taiwan. Nothing violent ever happened to me in Taiwan. Everything has been all good in the four years I've lived there. Now, could bad things happen? Sure. Bad things can happen anytime, anywhere, even in Taiwan. So, you know, use common sense, be smart, but I've lived in five different countries and I've traveled to over 45 countries. Taiwan is definitely in my top three safest countries that I've lived in and or visited. Reason number two, weather. Now this is personal for me, but I love the weather in Taiwan. 
I'm from San Francisco where we don't deal with extremes. It never gets too hot, never gets too cold. But in Taiwan, six months out of the year, I felt the weather was perfect. From around mid-October to mid-April, more or less, you just get perfect weather, 60 degrees, 70 degrees type weather. Uh, summertime from June to August, it's pretty intense but not out of control. It's hot and humid, um, but not out of control hot. Um, so you basically get six months of really, really good weather and six months of hot to hotter weather. Um, I preferred to hike during the winter months because the weather, again, was really good for me. Um, but in terms of, uh, if you look at a map and you look at Taipei, which is up in the north, um, it's cooler in the north. And as you descend down to the south, like Gaoshan, which is another major city to the, in the south, or a place called Kenting, it's, a, it's hotter. So the further you go south, the hotter it gets. Uh, rainy season happens during the summer. So you'll get intense rain, heat, and it's really humid. Reason number three, Taiwan is small. Now you could argue this is a positive or negative, uh, but visiting a place that's small and so safe, you can see a lot. Um, so you have the main island, which I've road tripped about eight times. It's smaller than California. Outside the main island, you have Green Island, Orchid Island, Matsu, Kinmen, Pangu, and Saliocho. Um, you can basically explore all of Taiwan in two months. You know, you want to take summer off and you want to go for two months, you can easily hit every island and every county and see all the major attractions easily. Um, if you want to explore a country kind of it's an entirety, then Taiwan is a country that you can do that. You can soak so much by visiting Taiwan. Now, if you made it this far, you're in for a treat. You no longer have to see my ugly mug, but you still have to listen to my voice. Instead, I have collected dozens of clips of Taiwan for your enjoyment. And one last thing, folks, in the description below, you can find the link to my website, links to more of my videos and other information. So check it out. Reason number four, the people. You can often find the Taiwanese at their many night markets or parks or cafes, drinking tea or eating, playing games or spending time with family and friends on the weekends. I found that the Taiwanese are very polite and helpful. While I found it difficult to communicate with them, I did find them well-mannered and willing to help. People cutting you in line in other countries? Not here. People hustling and getting a little too aggressive selling their wares? Not here. Lost and need help? Someone will help you. Forget something at the restaurant or on the street, chances are a Taiwanese person will chase you down and return your things. Reason number five, hiking. Hiking is easily accessible in Taiwan. There are beautiful trails and hikes that anyone can do. On one hand, for those extreme hikes, you might find Taiwan a little too Disney. I'm not a hardcore hiker, but this did bother me at times. Most trails have been influenced by humans, and that could look like just a whole paved trail, steps, lots of restrooms, places to rest. And there's nothing wrong with that, but just sometimes it bothered me because I never really felt like I was in nature with the exception of some of the more longer or advanced trails. Um, I feel that uh, Taiwan wants to be inclusive with everybody. For the more extreme hiker, backpacking is available. There are trails you can do that extend for days and days and you can be in complete nature. There is also rock climbing. I'm not a rock climber, but there are areas that are pretty popular for rock climbing in Taiwan.
Reason number six, scenery. I'm gonna keep it real. Taiwan is beautiful. From its coastlines, its tropical beaches with coral reefs to snow-capped mountains, while you're not gonna see any snow in the videos, it actually does snow in Taiwan. If you go high enough, there are times when there's snow. Not enough to ski, but you can see snow. Taiwan has immense beauty from amazing sunrises and sunsets, waterfalls, and even man-made interesting architecture and modern buildings and old buildings and temples, which you'll see later. Most of the scenery looks tropical, but there are areas up in the mountains like Alishan that remind me of hiking in California. Taiwan is a very picturesque place where one can enjoy the natural and human-made scenery. If I was to compare a place that reminds me of Taiwan, that would be Hawaii. If you've been to Hawaii and like Hawaii, I'm sure you're gonna love Taiwan. Reason number seven, Taiwan is a developed country. As you can see, Taiwan has great infrastructure. They have bridges. They have lots of bridges in Taiwan. They have great roads, freeways and highways. The roads are a little small in the cities and can be difficult in the mountains, but for the most part, roads are really good. Buildings, some are old. However, there are a lot of modern buildings as well that you can find. Sidewalks are kind of a hit or miss. Some places have great sidewalks and then there's lots of places in Taiwan that have no sidewalks and you have to walk on the street. It's not too bad though. Taiwan is super convenient. There are convenience stores basically every two blocks. You can find a 7-Eleven, Family Mart, and all other sorts of stores that you can go to. Other great things about Taiwan include, you can bike, you can get a motorbike, you can drive, you can take the train, you can take the high-speed rail, you can take a bus to get around, lots of modes of transportation. And while I don't have footage, Taiwan has some of the best parks I've ever seen in any country. The parks are super clean, uh, they are all over, everywhere. Every city, every town, every village has probably several parks and they're all pretty nice. And one last interesting thing about Taiwan are the garbage trucks. So when it's time to bring your uh, garbage outside, you know because the garbage trucks play classical music. They play Mozart. So when you're chilling at your house and all of a sudden you start hearing that Mozart, well, it's time to come out and drop off your garbage. Reason number eight exploring not to be confused with hiking exploring taiwan can be very rewarding all over the country you can find funny statues and crazy looking characters weird characters or if you're in a kawaii which is cute in japanese i probably said it wrong you can see hello kitty you can see cute little characters you can see a lot of japanese animation so you can find a lot of things. And the best part is Taiwan is safe. There are no ghettos. You can literally go pretty much anywhere you want. Except for if there's red signs, be careful. Google Translate. There's also things that don't make sense or are weird. Why is this here? What's the story behind this? Even natural things, foods. All of it very interesting if you wander the streets. You can find these in villages, towns, cities, on the coast, wherever you are. They do really beautiful things with grass. You can find purple water. These people are fishing. They're not trapped anywhere. They're having a picnic. If you're into the Aboriginal culture and history, there's that as well. It's more prominent on the East Coast, but again, you can find it everywhere. More statues that are interesting.
3D parks. They're all over the country. Lots of murals. There are painted villages where literally almost every house is covered in murals. All different types. Ceilings, walls, floors. All sorts of places you can find different types of art. Some of it's funny, some of it's creepy, some of it's cool. But hey, if that's not your thing and you're into exploring abandoned buildings, we got that for you too. Lots of abandoned buildings that you can explore. Make sure that they're okay to go into. And also if you like some graph, which I do, I love graffiti. You can find a lot of graffiti out there too when you're wandering the streets. Super good experience. But hey, if you're not into any of that, you can be into exploring post-apocalyptic places. And you can search out for places like these. Again, you can find these spots on my website. But if you're just into that street art, some of that graph, you want that graffiti, you got it. They got graph everywhere, especially in the major cities like Taipei. Reason number nine, beaches. Taiwan is a big island with lots of little islands in the tropics. While Taiwan doesn't have beaches like the Maldives or the Philippines, the beaches are definitely good enough. The best thing about the beaches in Taiwan is no one goes to the beach except for a few popular ones. I've been to so many beaches, winter, summer, in between, and every time I find beaches, they're empty for miles or you might see like three people. Uh, I'm not sure if you can swim in all the beaches that I've been to, but there's nothing wrong with having a picnic, getting your feet wet or a tan. So if you're someone who loves beaches, but you don't want to be around people, then Taiwan is the place to go for beaches. It is an unknown gem. I can't believe how many beaches I've been to and they are completely empty. The videos that you see now are videos throughout my four years and you can see how empty these beaches are. It's pretty amazing. Love is clean and love is pure And love is a thing that no doctor can cure And love is a thing we need for sure And if you not got it, you got the music coming you Reach out and touch your music and sound No matter you're young or you got many good time roll And to finish up, our number 10 spot is temples, and I will also include festivals. If you like temples, you'll get your chance to visit a variety. Taiwan practices free religion, so you pretty much can find all sorts of holy places. However, the traditional temples are Buddhism, Taoism, and folk religions. These caught my attention much more than the Western churches, as I'm from the United States. I find the temples in Asia to be a lot more interesting. You can find temples and shrines literally anywhere in Taiwan. All of the islands, villages, towns, major cities, everywhere. The last clips are two festivals I attended. The first one, dedicated to the Tiger Lord, 
was in Jai. I had no idea there was a festival going on. I was just wandering the streets, doing my own thing, and there it was, a festival. And it turned out to be pretty cracking. I think you'll like it. And the other festival was the festival to honor Mazdu, the goddess of the sea. At this particular part, they throw candy to everyone who is hanging out and watching the parade. Also, and I missed this, this is that parade where people cut themselves with weapons. I don't understand why, but I missed that and I wish I could have seen it. Sorry folks, you gotta see my ugly mug one more time. I said you wouldn't have to anymore. This is the last time, I'm serious. To conclude, if you wanna to go to a country that is super, super safe, beautiful, and doesn't cost an arm and a leg, completely recommend going to Taiwan. Again, check out my website at friscoroamer415.com. If you have gluten issues, I got you on that. If you want tips, if you want to know my favorite drives, my favorite hikes, everything is right there. Also be on the lookout for other videos that I have. In the works, I have the Wind Lion Gods, Kinmen, Pongu, and more. Check it out. Peace.